Noah Dent here at Jack Dempsey's Great Seafood in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Jack Dempsey's Restaurant is one of the best restaurants in New Orleans for traditional New Orleans food, and it has long been the go-to place for seafood and steaks. Jack Dempsey's is located at 738 Poland Avenue, which is about two miles and six minutes away from the French Quarter. If you're a fan of Bucks and Poland Avenue sounds familiar to you, that's because Poland Avenue was where in the book Confederacy of Dunces, the hero of that work, Ignatius P. Riley, worked at. And if you've never read Confederacy of Dunces and you like New Orleans, I highly suggest you read that book and I'll put a link to the book below and my Amazon links where I will get a small commission for that at no charge to you, so I appreciate that. Jack Dempsey's restaurant is located in the New Orleans neighborhood of the Bywater, which has experienced massive gentrification since Hurricane Katrina, which has really changed the character of the neighborhood. And it is located at the intersections of Poland and Dauphine Street, which Dauphine Street goes all the way through the French Quarter to here. And now let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. And it definitely has a bit of a dive atmosphere, but they have their Christmas decorations up. Jack Dempsey's restaurant was named after a lively New Orleans police reporter for the state side of named Richard Jack Dempsey. Dempsey was known for having a boisterous voice, a competitive nature, and a passion for journalism. Shortly before Dempsey retired, two policemen with whom he frequently worked felt that his characteristics, personality, in addition to his ever-present straw hat and cigar, earned him the right to have a restaurant named after him. The restaurant exchanged hands for a few years until 1980 when Andrew and Diane Marino bought Jack Dempsey's restaurant from his previous owner, Joe Kipper. Since then, the restaurant has undergone several renovations and menu changes. Now, Jack Dempsey's is owned and ran by Diane's son, Sammy Bellamonte, who has carried on the tradition of using family recipes to make delicious New Orleans fare. Jack Dempsey's restaurant is known for its hole-in-the-wall appeal, as well as its delicious fried seafood platters, faux boys, and famous macaroni and cheese. So as you can tell from our little exploration as we've walked in, it's a pretty simple one-room place and a little tiny bar in the front. So that's all you've really got here. Let's go ahead now and check out this menu here. And I do have to confess, I've never tried the steak here, just the seafood. So as we look at the menu here on the second page, we have appetizers with their onion rings, which are fantastic. Fried okra, fried mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms, fried calamari, fried eggplant, crab claws, Italian stuffed artichoke, oysters on the half shell, char grilled oysters, crab meat au gratin, crawfish pies, crab balls. And then we have soups with seafood gumbo, the soup of the day, and then we have some salads with fried shrimp salad, grilled shrimp salad, fried oyster salad, chicken salad, and shrimp and king crab salad. Then we have our fried dinner selections with a shrimp platter, catfish platter, oyster platter, redfish platter, fried crawfish platter, soft shell crab platter, fried legs platter, boneless chicken platter, veal cutlet platter, half and half platter, choose two items, super seafood platter. The JD platter for two with fried shrimp, catfish, crab boils, crawfish pies, and two cups of gumbo with oysters. Then entrees, broiled shrimp, broiled redfish, redfish train, JD broiled redfish, stuffed flounder, stuffed crab, crab meat au gratin, boiled Dungeness crabs, steamed lobster with dressing, 10 ounce ribeye steak, 16 ounce ribeye steak, 10 ounce ribeye and steamed lobster, 10 ounce ribeye surf and turf, and you can add oysters. 16 ounce ribeye surf and turf, and you can add oysters. Then they have their list of po' boys with fried shrimp, fried catfish, fried oyster, half and half with two items. Fried redfish, fried veal cutlet, fried or blackened chicken, stuffed crab, meatball, fried soft shell crab. And then they have lunch specials. So there are a lot of great things here. And then the sides are coleslaw, baked macaroni and cheese, french fries, potato salad, Selection of desserts with bread pudding, cheesecake, bark root beer float, bananas foster, and ice cream cake, and then our beverages. 
So you get a nice selection of condiments on your table, including a big squeeze bottle of tartar sauce, and I also suggest you request a squeeze bottle of remoulade sauce. Now I got the seafood gumbo. Let's dig into this and check it out. Of course, it needs a little Tabasco sauce in there at first to give it a little Louisiana hot sauce kick that we do love on our seafood here. So, oh, let's stir this up. It looks good. It smells fantastic. I always enjoy good seafood. Ooh, there's a nice big shrimp here. Oh, yes. So, nice flavor and uh, is not overloaded with rice. It has a decent amount of rice, so it's a good uh, ratio of rice to gumbo, the way I like it. I'd also really like it if you destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. So the gumbo is always a great way to start your feast of seafood here at Jack Dempsey's. And this is just a really great neighborhood restaurant where they really work with you and you can usually make some adjustments to any of the items on here to suit your tastes and desires. And uh, I am loving finishing off the last of this delicious gumbo. It's such a nice little flavor in there. All right, I'm done with it. So I have completely destroyed this little cup of gumbo. And next we're gonna try a crawfish pie and a crab ball. And actually I got the super seafood platter tonight, which includes the cup of gumbo, the crab ball, and this crawfish pie, along with fried shrimp, and I added oysters, and instead of catfish, I substituted redfish for a slight upcharge, which to me is well worth it, as the redfish is far better than the catfish. All right, now we're gonna taste this crab ball to begin with. It's got a lot of uh, good stuff inside there. See all the crab meat? So this is essentially like a little baby crab cake, and it's really good, full of some nice crabby flavor. And then the crawfish pie, always one of my favorite items. Crawfish pies are always fantastic. This is a little tiny one, but it is good, and I do enjoy it. So delicious, always good to have a crawfish pie. And here's the rest of this big seafood platter. This really is a lot of food for one person, so you probably could split it if you uh, don't have a big appetite. So here we go, we're gonna dig into this amazing macaroni and cheese. This is some of the best macaroni and cheese in the entire city of New Orleans. Look at that amazing cheesiness there. Oh, it's so good. Uh, in New Orleans, we have quite a few places that do a baked macaroni and cheese like this. I think this is probably among the top of all of the best of our macaroni and cheese options in New Orleans. So this is definitely in my top of the top list of macaroni and cheeses in the entire city. Um, it might be number one. It's hard to pick a number one because there are so many that are so delicious and good. But generally, I would say it is definitely the best mac and cheese. Now right here, I've got some shrimp, a redfish uh, piece of fish, and I've also got an oyster over here I'm gonna dig out. Let's see, there's another piece of redfish I'll put over here. There's some oysters hiding under here somewhere. I see it, I see the oyster under there. There we go, that's a big oyster right there. So two shrimp, two oysters, and two pieces of redfish. I do uh, like the remoulade sauce here too. We're gonna pour a little of that down there. And I definitely think the redfish has a way better flavor than the catfish. I also love trout. Fried trout's probably my favorite fried fish that we get in New Orleans pretty frequently. Mmm, okay. <laughs> Just had an oyster. Now I'm gonna have a shrimp. Very delicious with the remoulade sauce. I do love some remoulade on all my seafood. Another oyster, I'm gonna take this one down. Ooh. It's healthy for you, it's full of zinc. You always gotta have more oysters to keep you healthy. Yes. I'm gonna finish off another shrimp here. Mm. This is fried perfectly. Such a nice little crust on here. Good flavors all around. Everything is cooked perfectly. It's not overcooked, it's not tough, it's a perfect combination of the crispiness of the crust and just a nice, delicate, tender interior of the seafood. Okay, here's some redfish filet here. Good stuff, definitely. Mm. Always good to have a nice piece of redfish. Ooh, yes. Very excellent choice selection if you've got a 
big, big hunger inside of you, this big, big seafood platter can help take care of it. And I haven't eaten much all day, so I do have a bigger appetite. So, ooh, it's definitely what I've been looking forward to all day. It's such a nice experience to feast with me on this, isn't it? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I do enjoy such a nice seafood platter. Um, now, uh, it is good to kick it up with a soft shell crab. Uh, they don't have that listed, and I've never done it here before, but I have done that in many other places when I'm even extra hungrier. Ooh, that soft shell crab is quite an amazing seafood platter experience. That way you get uh, quite a selection of all kinds of different items going on. And just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I really would appreciate it as it really does help me. Just like I just destroyed my first little plate of food, now I'm gonna get some more. Look at the huge plate I still have to get through. All right, we're gonna have a lot of food to eat tonight. This is a big platter. Ooh. These shrimp are uh, quite nicely done though, I have to say. Some places they overcook it, the shrimp get all rubbery and hard. Typically most places in New Orleans do a pretty good job of uh, getting that perfect balance of a nice crispy crust on it and a nice delicate inside that does not taste tough and rubbery. Um, when I leave New Orleans, sometimes the fried seafood is disappointing and sometimes even the uh, Otherwise cooked shrimp's disappointing. Um, when I was in Austin, Texas, I definitely can't remember a lot of good uh, shrimp. When I would get shrimp fajitas, it would usually be not the best taste of shrimp. And unfortunately, a lot of places, uh, even in Louisiana, use imported shrimp instead of wild caught gulf shrimp. There's a huge difference in the taste. I mean, once you've had the wild caught shrimp, they're so much better. Now, I'm sure there's probably somewhere these days and often that has wild caught gulf shrimp that are delicious. I just never found one uh, during my time of being there. So if you know a place like that now, comment below and let us know. So it's always good to know where the good delicious items are in different places. Ooh, yes. So, especially when I put a little rumelade sauce on my shrimp that makes it delicious to me. Ooh, look at this piece of red fish. Oh my gosh. So good. Ooh, a little more remoulade though on top to kick it up a little more. Do you like my remoulade spiciness on there? And this remoulade could use a bit more Creole mustard for my taste preference. This one's a little uh, less spicy than the normal that I like myself. But you know, different recipes, different people. A lot of places that uh, have very different approaches to their sauces. So. Uh, Definitely, the variety is the spice of life. Things would get pretty boring if everything was the same, so it's good to have a little variety, definitely. But then we like what we like sometimes, and I like mine a little spicier. Ooh, 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 ooh. But this one's still pretty decent. Uh, so it's not quite the kick I enjoy, but it's still a pretty decent sauce overall, and hey, it's better than no remoulade sauce at all, right? So at least they have it. And it don't cost nothing extra, so that's a bonus. And hey, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. And just like I destroyed that huge plate of seafood. Wow. So the total before tip was $44.52 and that includes the upcharge for substituting the redfish for the catfish. Now the turtle soup here is also fantastic. We've also had the king crab salad. It's also an amazing salad. Stuffed artichokes here are really great. That's one of our Sicilian specialties we have in New Orleans. The stuffed flounder here is a really great dish that you should try. The soft shell crab and redfish combo platter here was fantastic when I had it. But it's time to head on out of here. And thanks to everybody here at Jack Dempsey's for a great time. And if you're ever in the area, you should definitely stop on in and check it out. And make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.